$10 for a magnetic 3x3. Thank you, Yushin. Thank you for always blessing us with your low prices, and we are forever grateful. So this is not a flagship 3x3, so price is going to be a big factor in this, but I'm still going to compare it to whether this is better or worse than certain other cubes. The best options you have for cheaper are the Yushin Little Magic and the MF3 RS2, but you'd have to magnetize them yourself or pay more to have it done for you to make them as good as the Kylan V2M, which is magnetic. Directly above it in price, we have the YJ MGC, MF3 RS3M, Supernova Little Magic M, and then the price just kind of goes up after that. By the way, links to all cubes I mentioned are in the description, and thank you to Speed Cube Shop for sending me this cube. I kind of put the Kylan V2 in a similar group to the YJ MGC, where it's good and extremely cheap for being magnetic, but it does have flaws that don't make it quite up to the level of the other flagships. This cube doesn't have any qualities that really blow me away, even for $10, but all of the individual qualities of it seem to work well together, and that makes it a really well-rounded speed cube. The turning is very smooth, kind of like a Weilong GTS 2, in that it doesn't have a really distinct feel, it's just very normal. It's not too fast, so it's easy to control, and it's not too slow like the MGC, where you have to apply more effort than usual. It also kind of reminds me of the old Moyu Weilong and Moyu Along from years ago, from the way the cube is really stable and the pieces snap in place from corner cutting. The corner cutting is pretty nice. One thing I noticed about this cube's corner cutting, which I usually don't like, is how the pieces snap instead of just moving easily. Now by moving easily, I'll show you what corner cutting can look like on the MF3 RS2M. This used to be a quality that I liked most about my mains, and cubes like the Valk Power, which were very snappy, made me mess up a lot, and I thought that this was just something I liked more. However, I do just fine on this cube, and I think I know why. If the pieces snap into place, sure it's not my favorite trait of a cube, but if the cube is also very stable and not too flexible, then it doesn't really seem to impact my solves. When something like the Valk Power is super flexible but also snaps all the time, I feel like I very easily lose control and the cube is doing a lot more stuff than my hands are. So with the Kylan V2, because it's super stable, even though the pieces are snapping into place when I corner cut, it doesn't seem to bother me at all. Besides this, the next cheapest magnetic cubes that are good are the YJ MGC and the MF3 RS3M. First off, I think the MGC has a super unique and nice feel, but besides that, I think the Kylan V2 is at least just as good, maybe better in a ton of other aspects. So since it is cheaper, I would definitely recommend the Kylan V2 over the MGC. Now for the MF3 RS3M, that's for next time. So anyway, the Kylan V2 is very cheap, so if that's your thing and you want a magnetic cube without risking messing up the magnets if you did it yourself, then totally go for it. If you're trying to upgrade over a budget cube like the Warrior or Guanlong or even a Rubik's brand, or you have a decent cube but want to try magnets, then this is a really great cube to start with. But if you already have a decent speed cube and are looking for a real upgrade, I'd go with a more expensive cube like the MF3 RS2M or GTS3M. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.